for this case, we have a 56 year old woman with back pain. Here you see two sagittal images from an MRI of the thoracic spine. We have a T2, and this is a post contrast here. Here you see some axial images through the same region. This is a T1 pre contrast and a T1 post contrast with fast saturation. Your first question is, what is the diagnosis? Your second question is, which of the following is not a risk factor for this mass? So you have to first come to the conclusion of what you think the mass is. And then once you have that, then which of these are, are risk factors? Uh, this is a case of a spinal meningioma. Uh, so what you have is an intradural mass. So it's in the thecal sac, but it's outside of the cord, so it's extramedullary. It's a homogeneous uh, enhancing mass. They can have dural tails, much like those intracranial masses. And the most common differential considerations that you're going to have are schwannoma and metastasis. And the ways you'll try to differentiate those is if you have a schwannoma, more often it will involve the neural foramen, so you'll have some extension through the neural foramen and the classic dumbbell appearance, or at least some osseous remodeling. Metastasis you need to know from the history. Um, usually those patients will have a history of malignancy, and then often you'll see multiple metastases. So in this case, you'll see there's a mass here. It's anterior to the spinal cord at around the level of T4, T5. You see the spinal cord deviated posteriorly behind it, so you know it's outside of the spinal cord. Here you see it enhances very avidly on post-contrast imaging. On the axial images, you see the same thing. You have this mass. It's kind of uh, pushing the uh, fecal sac to the side here, and uh, you see this, a little bit of epidural fat uh, there. Now, this is a little bit of a tricky question if you didn't know what the mass was, but you can kind of work through this because all of these things are associated with meningioma. So A through B, or A, B, and C rather, are all associated with meningioma, so they're more common in women. Radiation therapy can lead to them, uh, especially 10 to 15 years after radiation. And NF2 uh, is associated with meningiomas, schwannomas, and dependomomas. So you gotta think about that. The CNS association with von Hippel-Lindau is hemangioblastomas, and this was not a hemangioblastoma.